Uh-huh. Oh, God. Waste of money. Send it back immediately. <laughs> How does it hear me? I literally have no idea. Hey guys, how's it going? Dan here from Hemp Tech, and today I'm bringing you an unbiased unbox and review of the new Apple HomePod. If you want a more detailed review of this product, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Hemp Tech for news and updates as I'm going to be putting this thing through its paces over the next few weeks as let's face it, it's very hard to review a product after a couple of hours. And of course there's going to be more videos after big updates like AirPlay 2. The thing I'm most interested in today is what it looks like and what it sounds like. As I know before I even open this thing that Siri has a lot of catching up to do against its rivals Alexa and Google Assistant. But if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you have Apple Music and you care more about the look and the sound quality of your speaker than it being able to order you an Uber, then this could be the speaker for you. Now the fun bit, let's open it up and check it out. As you can see, I've gone for the white one. It also comes in black. Okay, here we go. Well, isn't that delightful? That is beautiful. Like a delightful little honeycomb of white. Straight away, very, very Apple. It looks lovely. Now there's seven tweaker speakers in here, six microphones and a big old sub at the top, which is very unusual because usually the sub's at the bottom, but you can't see any of them. They're really well hidden. It's made me laugh. I've seen a few videos of these already and everyone said it surprised me how heavy it was. How? You lifted the box onto your table, you idiot. Instructions. And of course, an Apple sticker. This is absolutely beautiful. Just like little touches here, like the cable with this material around the edge. Just little things like that that Apple do that keep me coming back for more. Right, let's get it plugged in. Wait there, I'm not sat down yet. Okay, so now it's plugged in, the above cam is going to show that it starts to flash like this and now I'm going to set it up and it should be really, really easy. So like anything with a W1 chip, like the AirPods, straight away set up. Then it wants to know what room it's in, uh, I'm going to go with office because it's constantly checking its surroundings to give you optimal sound quality. I'm going to call it the office, continue. Enable personal requests. Yeah, why not? Use this iPhone, fine. Agree. Transfer, yep. Yeah. I suppose I should peel this off now. It really is good quality, which you'd expect from Apple because they charge five times more than everyone else. Okay, so that's setting up at the moment. While it is, I'll just warm up for all the music I'm about to hear. How long is this gonna take? <whistles> Still. We're in. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say hey Siri. Hey Let's Siri. Try oh. it. Say hey Siri, <clears throat> what can you do? Hey Siri, what can you do? Seriously, hey Siri, what can you do? Uh-huh. Oh God. Waste of money, send it back immediately. Hey Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. Hey Siri, play some music. Just a moment. Okay, here's a personal radio station built just for you, starting with Limp Bizkit. Remember, anytime you have a question, just say hey Siri. Alright, partner. Oh. Keep on rolling. What a first song. 
You know what time it is. I'm guessing these buttons here are the volume. Wow. Uh, what's the weather like tomorrow? The forecast is for rain in Corby tomorrow. The high will be 4 degrees and the low will be minus 3. Hey Siri, pause. Now the thing I love about that is when you use your phone for music and you press play, you can be shouting hey Siri at your phone all you want and it just won't pick it up. So that is really, really good to know. The six mics are super sensitive, so no matter how loud it is, it's gonna hear you. 100% volume. Hey Siri, who's the drummer? I don't know who plays drums on Rollin' Air Raid Vehicle, but the drummers in Limp Bizkit have included John Otto. Hey Siri, 90% volume. That's very loud. Are you sure? I'm sure. I can't believe it can hear you over that volume. That is so, so impressive. Let's try something else. Um, hey Siri, what reminders have I got today? I found only one reminder that is due today. Today at 1800 hours, look in the mirror and remember you are a strong, confident woman that doesn't need to smoke. You are powerful. You are beautiful. Also get milk. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, wow. Uh, okay. You know the drill. AI nowadays likes to have a bit of banter. Uh, really funny, Siri. That was a great one. Really good. Actually, I know why it did that. It must have known that I wanted to bring up that there's no voice recognition. So whoever's account these are set up to, anyone can listen to their messages, their emails and so on. So nice one, Siri. Cheers for that. <laughs> okay, another thing I'm going to do in the name of consistency, because I listen to the same song first in all my videos of headphones and speakers and stuff, is I'm going to listen to a song now to see what it sounds like. Really listen to the song because the thing I like about this is you're not just pinging something over via Bluetooth, it's actually coming straight from the source. So you're getting HD sound all the time, which is really, really good. So I'm going to listen to this now. Hey Siri, play Aerodynamic by Daft Punk. Here's Aerodynamic by Daft Punk. <laughs> That sounded really, really good. Uh, despite its small size, it's really loud, it's really clear, there's no distortion, even when it's at 100% volume. Even though it is a small sub, it's got 20 mil movement up and down, which is really, really big for a speaker that small. So Apple have done an amazing job engineering this to look good, be really, really small, but sound fantastic. First Pro, it looks, it feels, fantastic. Uh, it feels like a really solid bit of kit. Really happy with it so far. Even little touches like the material around the wire are just beautiful. The sound quality is really really impressive if you've got you know two of these either side of your bed or something like that or either side of a TV or in the corner of a different room it's gonna give you really really good sound quality. The most impressive thing for me is the mic sensitivity. How it hears me over the song, I don't know. These mics must be super, super sensitive. So I love that already. Another thing is you're not having to have your phone directly connected to it, so you can be using your phone for something else while the music's just carrying on in the background. And of course, HomeKit, which I've not been able to show you today because I don't have anything that supports that, but HomeKit with this is meant to be fantastic. You can set up things called scenes where you can set something like good morning, 
to this and it'll do things like turn on the kettle, turn on the lights in the kitchen and open the blinds. The biggest one is the same as other people have been saying, okay? Two main features this doesn't come out with despite it being delayed. That is stereo sound, where two of them are working together to give you stereo sound. And the other one being multi-room function, which is something I was really looking forward to. This is where you can have multiple speakers in different rooms and they're either playing the same song, so you can be going from one room to another, downstairs, upstairs, while you're getting ready and the same songs playing, or you can have different songs in different rooms. Apparently this is gonna be available when AirPlay 2 comes out. A big one for a lot of people is this only supports Apple, it only supports iPhone. So basically it's an Apple only party. If you have an Android device, you can't even sync up to this via Bluetooth. It's AirPlay or nothing. So sorry guys, Apple only. Another one that I mentioned earlier, which was uh, you know totally on purpose, was there's no voice recognition. So anyone can listen to messages, emails, reminders and stuff like that. And of course it wouldn't be cons of an Apple product if I didn't mention the price. This is £320 and a lot of the rivals out there are a lot cheaper. In fact, just as this was released, Sonos speakers did a special deal where the Sonos one was two for £350. Basically what Sonos was trying to say was you can have two awesome sounding speakers for the same price as one of these. Okay guys, that's it for the end of the video. Like I said, a full review is gonna be coming up on this once I put it in my bedroom, put it in different rooms, try it out. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at HempTech. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> gonna get Siri to play me out. Hey Siri, play me a 90s dance anthem. Sure, here's some 90s dance.